Okay, so welcome just to a quick episode or a quick little experiment in Call Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Call Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Call Dude Clem. Anyway, I've got my ZVS flyback driver out and I've been thinking of ways to audio modulate this so we can actually play music through it. Anyway, about a year ago, I got a comment from Powermax on one of my flyback driver videos and he said he knew a way of audio modulating a ZVS by winding an extra winding onto the inductor and then playing an audio signal into that and it will audio modulate the ZVS although there's no videos of that being done so I thought I would do it myself and see if it works. So this is the inductor that I'm using. Now this came out of a PC power supply. I think this was the input filter choke. A rather beefy one, but we got two windings. We got one here and one here, so it's a bit like a little transformer. Well, it's not a transformer, but it could be used as one. And it's a one-to-one -one winding ratio, so, you know, same number of turns here, same number of turns here. And although the inductance is extremely way more than what you should use for a ZVS, it does work. I am still able to pull a decent size arc out of the flyback. As I will now show you. That came on a little rather unexpectedly there, but... You can see that's working pretty good. So, we know that all works. So, let's do... Let's see if we can audio modulate this thing. Okay, so I've got the transformer connected up to my cassette deck, which is playing a tape, and I've got this connected to the headphone output. And, well, it does actually work, although it's very faint. Maybe you can hear that. if you could hear that it was very faint but you've got to remember I mean we're trying to audio modulate like 200 watts here with maybe like half a watt of difference in there I mean that's not really gonna do much at all so I think we need to step it up a little I made a little solution here just build up a little amplifier here do the job. Well I've had to add an extra stage of amplification to it which is this little transistor down here. But now we do have an audio modulated ZVS. Let me demonstrate. So I shall start the tape playing and turn on the high voltage. Alright, now I shall turn on the amplifier. For some reason We're getting a completely different song to what I was using before. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you could see it. And, how, and more importantly, hopefully you could hear it. Alright, now I'm now going to power this little amplifier on 15 volts. Alright, we've got our arc. Let's turn the amplifier on. Something just fell down, but who cares.
So there you go. An audio modulated ZBS.